So we have Queen of Swords. And this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future, so you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Queen of Swords is here. This could be you and this Queen of Swords energy. You're someone that speaks the truth, very um, straightforward with people, someone that's very intelligent. You cut off things that no longer serve purpose in your life. Yeah, two of wands is here. <laughs> this two of wands talks about being at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take, waiting for something or prolonging something, something like that. Yeah, somebody could have wanted somebody could have wanted you to be in this two of wands energy, just standing at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. Yeah, page of wands is here. This talks about communication. Yeah, and then Five of Swords is here. So, yeah, somebody is sitting back, standing at a stalemate. They don't know which direction to take. They see you in this Queen of Swords energy. They see you as someone that is very intelligent. And this person is envious. Five of Swords, it talks about envy, hatred, jealousy. This person is envious because of whatever messages that you receive or whatever communication, the way you communicate with people. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is here. And then three of wands. Yeah. So somebody could have made some type of decision. This could have been somebody that you cut off. You left them at a stalemate not knowing which direction to take. And they were trying to hold on to you for pinnacles is here. Yeah, but it's like you made a decision to hold back from this person. And they could have literally wanted to sabotage you. Ace of cups is here. And then four cups is here. Yeah, this is somebody that wanted you to reject true love or new love coming in. Four cups and ace of cups. Yeah, they want you to feel rejected. They want you to feel insecure. This could be somebody that's insecure. They feel rejected in life. They're unhappy about whatever choices they made in love. And um, they want you to be in that energy. Yeah, tower is here. This person is sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. Yeah, because this took this person through a drastic change. You could have went through a drastic change. Whatever this person wanted you to be at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take, you went through a drastic change. And this caused a tower moment for this person. Yeah, they feel stuck. Eight of Swords is here. This person is stuck in their head. This person could be wrapped up in a situation and they're just feeling stuck and they wanted you to be at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. Yeah, they're at the three of swords, heartbroken, stressed out, depressed. They thought that you would be sitting back stuck in depression or something like that. Wow. Yeah, ten of cups in the reverse. This person is not happy. It's like if this is a relationship that this person is in, ten of cups in the reverse. They're unhappy at their home. Whatever foundation or family life that they try to build with someone, they're unhappy. They feel stuck, heartbroken, depressed, wrapped up in a situation where they're, they're, they're unhappy about whatever choices they made. I'm so done. The unknown card is here. And they possibly don't want you to know this. Yeah, King of Wands is here. And then Ace of Swords is here. Yeah, and it's like, this is someone that's attracted to you, King of Wands. This is someone that have a lot of passion for you or something like that. This person could have thought that they were going to come in quick and have sex with you. And you knew the truth, Ace of Swords Clarity. Yeah. It's like you knew that this person was someone that would be stepping outside of a relationship or something. Or they were in some type of situation shift. The food card is here. Whoever this King of Wands is, this could be someone that's coming towards you. They've gained some type of truth and clarity, and then they're coming towards you. Eight, um, the food card. They're headed towards a whole other direction. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. This person holds you in high honor, Six of Wands. 
and they want to have victory and success with you. They see you as someone that's, um, you could be doing something online, you could have a platform, um, a lot of people look up to you, you're attracting a lot of attention, a lot of people respect you. Yeah, the lovers is here. Yeah, this is someone that um, you have a divine connection with. Nine of Swords. And then Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, somebody is stressed out. They could have spread some type of lies, rumors, gossip, and slander that was not true. And now they're being exposed. Nine of Swords. A mental prison in their head. Dark night of the soul. Ten of Swords right after that. This person have pent their self down for harsh, painful endings. And they're stressing. They could have wanted you to be pent down for harsh, painful endings. This could have been some type of betrayal. Yeah, they wanted you to feel left out. Five of Pentacles is here. They wanted you to feel left out in the cold. This is someone that's very low vibrational. They're physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold and lost. And they wanted to project that energy off onto you. Now they're sitting in their own energy at the Nine of Swords, stressed out in fear. Going straight into the Ten of Swords. 